Okay. So this is the LRV400, which is uh, Supercat's latest uh, vehicle product. It's been designed to fit the need for a small, lightweight and air portable uh, reconnaissance vehicle. This vehicle has been developed on the Land Rover Discovery platform. This platform was chosen because it's got very high mobility with its double wishbone uh, suspension. Also with a 250 horsepower V6 diesel engine in there because it's extremely high power to weight ratio on there. Onto this base platform we have developed a roll specific crew cab and hamper. This crew cab and hamper setup has been designed so that it's very similar to the Jackalon Coyote vehicles which gives familiarity for current users and also uses a lot of the carrier cross parts on there which have been proven and reliable. That's the same with the base platform really is that one of the key reasons for choosing the Land Rover Discovery platform is we benefit from the thousands of hours of design and development that have gone into there to make a very robust platform. Right. However to make it a bit more uh, suitable for the military application we've uprated the suspension, uprated the brakes and where necessary we've strengthened the chassis as well. Part of the design of the cab and the hamper structure on there is it also augments the chassis structure as well to make a, 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 a platform that's stiff and can withstand the, the off-road environment and the, the inputs that we get into the chassis from that. Similar to the HMT vehicle, what we've done with this platform as well is we've enabled it so it can be converted from the four-wheel drive uh, version that we see here uh, with a bolt-on third axle on there which can then give it a, an, an extension of a third axle on there, um, increasing the payload and the space that's available on there. Currently in its 4x4 format here, it uh, weighs about 2.5 to 2.7 tonnes, giving it a payload of about 1.5 tonnes. With the third axle on there, that gives you another 800 kilos of payload, which can increase the range on there if you need to carry more fuel, uh, water and other supplies on there. In addition to that, it can also be used as a different role on there. The rear hamper structure on there, uh, with the weapon ring on there, um, can be converted to a flatbed version as well, so it can just be used as a, a mothership or as a, a logistics variant on there. And one of the important things, it's uh, air portable both internally and externally by Chinook? Indeed. So the platform was chosen because it was a narrow enough platform to be able to be fitted inside a Chinook helicopter, especially with uh, the, the environment they operate in now where weight and width is, is more important than ever before. Um, it's been approved by uh, JATE, or been uh, up to JATE, the authority, to uh, check its air portability on there, and it's gone inside the CH-47 on a mock-up and been signed off for that. Uh, we also have lifting eyes on the front and rear, which means it can be underslung from a CH-47 as well, and rapidly uh, inserted. Setup at the moment is for a three-person crew on there. Uh, we've just developed a four-person crew on there, so it's forward-facing seats for, for um, certain applications. Plus also with the developments that we're doing on the chassis, um, it can be up-armoured with both blast protection and ballistic protection, and also can be converted to a fully enclosed armoured cab if necessary. And it will be used by um, forward deployed troops, special operations forces. So we see the market sector for this is very similar to those that are currently using the Jackal and the HN fleet of vehicles where they need a much where they need a smaller the vehicle more agile and easily air portable and uh, some of the problems with I understand with Jackal is that with this being up armored it doesn't fit internally into uh, Chinook so basically as the HMT is developed and the Jackal is developed on there it's got heavier more armor has to go on there um, increases the size of there and also the aircraft itself is carrying more armor on there it's carrying longer range fuel so its load carrying capacity is reduced. So those two things together have meant that there was a gap then to fit with a vehicle such as this where it is lighter and narrower and can go inside the aircraft. So this will replace three vehicles hopefully? Uh, so we see this as very much augmenting those vehicles so it can be used alongside those vehicles so it makes, makes a family of vehicles uh, that we've got here. There's, we've got a vehicle as a 4x4 four four that's around uh, four and a half tonnes to five tonnes gross vehicle weight. With the third axle on there that comes between the, up to the five and a half tonnes. Then when you're onto the six, seven, eight tonnes then you're onto the uh, Jackal vehicle and then further onto there with the Coyote vehicle with its third axle on there it gives you the ten tonne vehicle. So between the, the base LRV and the base HMT vehicle you get a range of vehicles um, between a four and a half to a twelve tonne platform. Mm -hmm.